Welcome back to Predicting the NFL with Mickey G. We have just had the divisional round of the playoffs, and I was not the biggest of fans. Um, the AFC was the uh, conference I cared more about here, you know, and I got both of those games wrong. And, but, however, I did get both the NFC games right, so I went 2-2 two and two this week, bringing my playoff total to 3-5, and five, which is kind of garbage. Um, but, you know, the first game that we have here is the Chargers at Patriots. And my thoughts were that the Chargers, they have a defense that played superbly last week. Offense that's good enough to do lots of great things. And they're going to go out there and they're going to beat the Patriots. But instead, uh, Belichick and friends had other plans. Um, they did a great job of stopping them. And um, not allowing the Chargers to stop them. And lots of stupid things happened. The Patriots won, and it was a major bummer. Um, the second game was the Colts at Chiefs. Uh, the Colts were another team that I'm like, they have a good chance here. The Chiefs, they're going to go full read. They did not, um, which didn't help my prediction since I picked them to lose. The Colts got absolutely manhandled, and it took them a very long time for them to score a, lot, a decent amount of points. Uh, the Chiefs had complete control over the game, and by the end of it, I was very disappointed. Um, moving to the NFC, though, these are games that I picked correctly, and I'm glad I did. The Rams, they beat the Cowboys because the Cowboys do not deserve to win. They're not a team. They only made it to the playoffs because the Redskins had run their fourth-string quarterback. Uh, if Alex Smith does not get hurt, they have a fine season. They do a great job. Cole McCoy doesn't get hurt. They probably win one or two more games, and then they have a chance they compete for the um, the division. They possibly get the spot. But when they have Mark Sanchez and a guy who's barely played um, an NFL regular season game and Joe Johnson, you're not really going to have success there, along with multiple other injuries and stuff. And it was just a whole major bump there. So I was very glad that the Rams beat the Cowboys. Uh, then we had the uh, Saints and the Eagles. And the Saints, uh, they started off quite slowly. Um, the Eagles having like a 14 nothing lead, uh, which then the Saints, uh, you know, they, they focused in and they're like, all right, boys, let's not lose to Nick Foles. So then they went on like, you know, 20 nothing uh, point streak and won the game 20 to 14. Um, so good for you, Saints. Great job. Very proud. Um, I mean, there's not really much to recap. I guess besides that, there's only four games, and uh, I've said it all. So moving in to the predictions. In the AFC, sadly, we have the Patriots at Chiefs. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a colder game out here in Kansas City, um, and since Tom Brady's quite old, he'll probably feel the effects more, or at least that's the hope. Um, and then, you know, Patrick Holmes is quite young, so he won't feel the effects as much, because you can deal with more when you're right out of college and stuff. Um, but, you know, we have uh, going to be a stupid game here. I didn't want either of these teams to make the championship, and it's boring when the number one team plays the number two team at the championship. You always want an underdog story. Everybody loves an underdog story. You know what I mean? I guess why. Like, the Chargers, they were the sixth seed. They have, granted, the team, they're a really good team, and they basically have the same record as the Chiefs. Since they're in the same division, they don't get, you know, good spots. But they're the sixth they're the fifth seed, not the sixth seed. And so to come up there, you know, win the Super Bowl, that'd be dope. Say we have number one and two seed from both conferences, which is not exciting stuff, okay? But I'm going to go with the Chiefs here um, because they're favored in Vegas by three points, meaning they have home field advantage. And I just, I really don't want the Patriots to go to the Super Bowl again. It's just not fun to watch anymore. That's why I didn't watch the national championship for... NCAA, it was Clemson and Alabama. They've played each other the past, like, four years. Who cares? I want to see a different team in there. You know what I mean? And it's just not exciting when it's the same team every year. So I'm going to go with the Chiefs here in the hopes that we have a different Super Bowl than we've seen before. Um, moving on to the NFC, we have the Rams at Saints. Now, the Saints were kind of my, the second team that I wanted, you know, to win here. Um, no, that's not even true. They were the third team I wanted to win here. 
once again, I wanted, you know, more of lower teams. The Bears were big underdogs, were big underdogs, because this is the first time I've been in the playoffs in such a long time. Had a great season, great defense, and they lose to Nick Foles. Then the Seahawks, on the other hand, just fall apart completely against the Cowboys in a very stupid game. So then all I had left was the Saints, because I'm not cheering for Nick Foles to go again. Well, it'd be kind of cool to watch, I guess. It's just kind of stupid for him to just be able to, every time he goes to the playoffs, just win for no reason. You know what I mean? Um, and then we have, uh, you know, the Cowboys, which I've already explained how I'm not the biggest of fans. The Rams, I just really don't feel like they deserve it. There's just something about the team that I just don't like. I don't know. And then there's the Saints. Drew Brees, great guy, big fan. You know, I've always been a, you know, big believer in Mr. Breezes. And uh, so for him to go there, you know, play hard, play fast, and play well, and quite deserving MVP season, I believe, personally. Um, I would like him to go play against the Patriots. Psych. No, I want him to play against the Chiefs, obviously. But in the probable happening of the Patriots winning, which I'm not picking, I'm picking the Chiefs, we want Breeze to go in there, and he's, you know, the better quarterback that can lead them to victory against, um, hopefully not, the Patriots. Um, so that's really all for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, adios.